Turning into a beautiful day. It's 52 degrees. We're already above yesterday's high. The sun is shining and it's a spectacular shot out there at Keeneland. You are live with a bug camera. Uh, now we've got some issues later in the week, but a lot of it is positive as far as the developments weather wise, especially when you're talking temperature. We're going to we're gonna have to contend with some shower and storm chances later this week, though. And there's a little bit of a breeze, a west wind sustained at 13 miles per hour. But check that out, 52 degrees. Uh, you notice how much cooler it is in the eastern Kentucky. This is uh, mainly due to cloud cover. Those clouds are thicker out east. There have been a few sprinkles, light rain showers trying to hang on. But out west where the sun is shining, they're already in the mid 50s. So the temperature trend over the next 24 hours will go from, well, the upper 40s yesterday to the upper 50s today to tomorrow's highs, likely around the mid to upper 60s. So each day we're just going higher and there very well could be some 70s on the way for the weekend. So yeah, positive direction for us temperature wise. And uh, the only drawback, the shower and storm chance later this week and the sprinkles that are happening right now. That's the Max Track Live. It's been fairly persistent. Saw that moisture coming in aloft earlier this morning. Didn't really amount to much of anything and it's not going to. Some sprinkles, some lighter rain showers out east. Uh, and that'll persist for a few more hours, but uh, continue to gradually wind down out east. The major player, of course, is this monster coastal storm that is fired up. Yeah, that's April snow in Charlotte, and they've had reports of snow all the way down into uh, the Midlands and the upstate of South Carolina. Uh, up to 46 reports now of snow and sleet, mainly snow. So, uh, yeah, they don't handle it normally uh, anyway. So uh, this is a big deal <laughs> That's where the Carolinas, especially as you head from Charlotte and up into uh, parts of central North Carolina there. Low pressure is going to run the coast and uh, it's mainly going to be a heavy rain event closer to the coast. And what we're dealing with is little spotty sprinkles. So those will diminish by later on today. We should end up partly to eventually mostly sunny clouds clear out. And beyond that, there really isn't a whole lot going on until we get to Thursday night. So tomorrow looking great. The sun's back out. Thursday, the clouds get thicker ahead of the approaching system. And by Thursday night, we'll start to see the shower and storm chances on the rise. So for today, upper 50s, beautiful day, partly to eventually mostly sunny here. The clouds will linger a little longer. And again, a few sprinkles into our eastern mountain counties. And tonight down, down to the upper 30s instead of around freezing like we saw this morning. And then tomorrow, it's even warmer. Upper 60s. We're still in the mid 60s Thursday, but for the opening day at Keeneland Thursday, a day early, remember, uh, we will see a few late day showers trying to take hold. I think the bulk of the precipitation that runs our way should be overnight and through the day Friday earlier in the day, and that could set us up to clear us out for the second part of the weekend. And boy, there we go. Some 70s showing up. Let's hope we can hang on to that. The weekend's going to be kind of bookended by shower and storm chances. Uh, I'm smiling from ear to ear. All right, Tom, thank you.